Hey guys, if your app store is missing from your iPad, by the way, this is the same thing if that's happening on your iPhone, we're assuming you guys didn't jailbreak your device. If you did, that just means you didn't jailbreak it correctly. So go ahead and restore it. Once you restore it, re-jailbreak it and then load your stuff. Most likely these things happen when you load your information and then you jailbreak, there's always problems. So like I said, the proper way would be to restore, jailbreak, and then load your information to it. You will not have those problems. For those of you who didn't jailbreak and don't know why your app store is not here, let's just go right into your settings. Under your settings, we will see this option down here below where it says screen time. Once you click on screen time, you will see these options. So under these options, we will see content and privacy restrictions. Let's just tap on there and then your second option will be iTunes and App Store purchases. We're just going to tap right there as well. And we're going to see installing apps. It says not allowed. OK, so we have to change that to allow. Same thing goes with deleting apps. Might as well do it right now <laughs> and might as well change this to allow. So right now that we did installing apps, that's all really we had to change. Now we're going to get our app store back. So you might do this, you might kind of glitch out and then go back to your homepage. As you guys can see, my app store is right in there. So finally, I have my app store. I can download apps. I can install them right here on my iPad. Same thing if you guys have an iPhone. So again, if I go right here, if I go to screen time, if I go to con privacy and then I just go into purchases, installing apps and I put that to not allowed. If I go back to my home page, it's going to disappear. So as you guys can see, the app store just disappeared, right? So that was just to show you that you guys can go back and forth. So I'm going to go back here and turn it on again to allow. And that's the fix for your iPad and iPhone, by the way, if you guys have an iPhone, exact same instructions because you guys have the exact same settings actually, and even the same order here on your iPhone. It doesn't matter which iPad you guys have, same deal, iOS 13, that's how it's gonna look like. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write it down here in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.